Hello everyone, welcome back. So today is the first day of the year. I wish you and your family a very happy new year. In this video, we'll be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, partition string into substrings with value at most k. The problem states that you are given a string s consisting of digits from 1 to 9 and an integer k. Now you have to partition this string s and the partition of string s is called good if each digit of s is part of exactly one substring right and the value of each partition should be less than equals to k so this is the decimal value of each partition should be less than equals to k now we need to return the minimum number of substring in a good partition so we, we have to partition this given string s and we have to partition it in such a way such that the total number of partitions is minimized okay and if there is no such good partition of s exists you will return minus one okay now uh, notice that we like this partition is for substrings like you can't take a subsequence in one partition right so because of this statement like the partition is substring the question is uh, question becomes a lot easier like you'll look at uh, how easier it is uh, then usual lead code medium problems but yeah so basically this is easier because of the statement otherwise it would have been a little tougher right so let's check an example the example is a uh, 165462 and k 60 right so they have partitioned this string into these four strings so 16 c16 is the uh, 16 is a substring 54 54 is another substring 62 62 is another substring 6 is another substring 2 is another substring right so each digit of s belongs to exactly one of these substrings and each of these substrings value is less than or equals to k right so because it satisfies all these two criteria this is a good partition and what they are saying is you you can try other possible partitions and you will see there is no good partition like which have less than four partitions so hence the answer is four okay so hope the problem statement is clear now let's see how to solve this so first thing we are given a string right and uh, let's say the k value is 61 so we have to partition now what like we have to partition into minimum number of partitions right so what exactly will you take so they like as always like there are various possible scenarios right you can put the partition in any place so let's see what happens like where this first one would go like this one should go in one of one of the partitions right so where this first one would go either it can go to its own partition right or it can come with six because uh, 16 is also less than 61 and 1 is also less than 61 so it can be in one of these partitions right so which one will you take will you take 1 or will you take 16 or will you or are you not sure which one to take and in that case you will try every possible combination in some way in most of the cases it is uh, coming up in recursion and memoize the solution right so in this case here can you deterministically say whether you will take this one as the first partition or 16 as the first partition so notice that but there are there is no third option because if you take the third option you will be getting 161 and 161 is surely not a good partition because it is less than it is greater than 61 so hence with one there are two choices either you will take one or you will take 16 so now what you need to answer is will you take one or will you deterministically say that okay I, if I take one I will be getting the minimum partition or if I take 16 I will be getting the minimum partition or I am not sure which one to take uh, there might be uh, cases where um, so in some cases where one can give the minimum number of partition or 16 can give the minimum number of partitions right so you have to deterministically determine so can you deterministically say here the answer is yes why because let's say you take one right uh, let's just say you you take one so if you take one 
uh, what would be your next uh, partition? Your next partition should be like 61 or let's say 6, right? So you are placing a partition here, right? So you, you are placing a partition here. Now, what is the worst number of partition? Like, what, what is the total number of partition in worst case here? Total number of partition in worst case here could be the number of digits itself. So there, are, there can be total number of five partition in worst case, right? Because number of digits is five. So you have taken one and you left with something which have worst case of five partition, right? Now let's say you take 16, right? If you take 16, you will be leaving up with uh, these set of integers, right? So, how many worst, how many partition can you form in worst case in this four, right? So, notice that these are worst cases, right? There can be partitions which are which are less than four or which are less than five, but in worst case you will be getting four partitions from one four six two. In worst case you will be getting five partitions from six one four six two. So why would you take something which will left which will leave you with a state where the worst case is higher right so notice again this is the worst case right so this may or may not be the total number of partition but this is the worst case so because worst case like you are ending up like with one by taking just one you are ending up in a state where the worst case partition is five and with taking 16, you are ending up with a with a case where the worst case partition is 4. So you will deterministically say, like you can deterministically say that okay, if I take the one which have less possibility of worst case, then I will be having a optimal number of partition, right? So this statement you can prove it through mathematical formula as well. But uh, I will leave that to you an exercise, basically proving it is very similar to how we did it in various past videos. So basically intuitively we can see here that because the worst case of the partition where we take 16 entire 16 as the first partition is less than the worst case of the partition where we take only one we will go with 16 always. Now what does it mean? It mean we will take the largest string or we will try to take the largest uh, string possible in every possible scenario. So in this case, we will start with one. We will see, okay, uh, one is less than k. That's fine. Let's go with 16. 16 is less than k. Yes. Let's go with 161. 161 is less than k. No. So this is my first partition, right? Again, we will start with one. One is less than k. Yes. 14 is less than k. Yes. 146 less than k? No. So this is my second partition. Let's start with this one. 6 less than k? Yes. 62 less than k? No. So this is my third partition. And now finally, uh, 2 is less than k. So this is my fourth partition. So in total, we have four partition and this is our answer. right? So let's see how to code this. The code is exactly similar to what we just uh, iterated upon. We start with uh, 0, right? And we just check if the value is less than k, if it is and there is something on the right, if the value is less than k and there is something on the right, then we will in like take the value, like we will take the digit and increment our value, right? So in this particular case, if let's say 16 is the current value, I will see, okay, there is one after 16, like 16, 6 is not the last number or last digit. So we will take one after it and form 161. Now 161 is greater than k so we will just stop there. So that's what we are doing like we are forming 161 from here and then in the next iteration we will again check whether it is less than k or not. If it is if it is we will continue otherwise we will break out from the for loop and finally we are checking if value is less than k uh, is greater than k or not. If it is greater than k then we know that we need to, we need to we have taken one extra digit that we should not have taken right. So that's why I, I just did j minus minus. Now notice that let's say uh, the value of k was 2, right? So if value of k was 2, in, 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 in first case you will be getting 1, that's fine, right? In second case you will be getting 6. So even 6 is not 
greater than k right so you can't take even 6 so this this means that 6 can't belong to any of the partitions and because that's the case you will have to return minus 1 so that's what we have checking if our start the start is the first index that we have started with if that is greater than j like we have if, if value is greater than k we are decrementing j right so if that is greater than j it means there is no valid partition in return minus 1 okay so each time we are we are able to successfully extract one partition i am incrementing the result and finally this result will contain the total number of partitions and we'll just return that as an answer right so hope this solution makes sense if you have any doubts in this problem please post them in the comment section below i would have to answer again this problem was easier because of this statement i would strongly encourage you to think about the case where this uh, substring uh, constraint is not there you can take any subsequences you will yourself notice the uh, it is not that hard but it is harder than at least this part this particular problem right so you can think about it and we can discuss that in the comment section below as always so hope you enjoy it if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you are not already and i will see you in the next one thank you